All right. In this in this tutorial, um, we will be continuing on with our camera rig. The last part we had where we left off, we left we were making the camera move from left and right. In this part, we will be making the camera move up and down. All right. So first off, we want to ungroup this. All right. We left that grouped last time. All right. So put on your guides all right and we're going to go into our gadgets and then we're going to go into this connectors and we're going to get a motor bolt all right and do we put our guides on yeah we did uh all right it's going to connect there and then all right so what you want to do is you want to drag this out pull it up and then you can make the guides a little smaller and then Basically, there you go. It's nice and straight. All right. So, all right. You're gonna turn this, and then turn it this way like that. Then we're gonna go into. Now I'll just show you. Like if I go like this, it's like doing all that wobbling. You don't want that. So you're gonna go into uh, guides, and we're gonna go into precise movement. And basically, we're gonna click on this purple thing, and we're gonna. Spin L2 on the purple thing and then spin this all the way around to like 358 and you do that with the right stick and now that should smooth this out see nice nice all right so we're gonna open up this microchip right this is where we're gonna put everything I already um, have a bunch of this stuff already done so I'm just gonna drag it over all right I'm gonna try to make this video uh, a little more uh, you guys can let me know if you like it this way better just kind of um, putting all the all the logic pieces like here and then like explain them the best I can because it seems easy but like understanding all this stuff is definitely a little more difficult and that's kind of what I'm trying to do is even for myself is to really understand why this is all happening like what is all this what are all these this times this plus this like you know it's you know it, to me it's a you know it can be a little daunting like because I don't just want to like watch a tutorial plug everything and be like all right that looks good but why does it do this all right and I'm going to do my best at explaining it all right so this um basically is our you're gonna want this one right not this one right stick right stick local uh all right so you're gonna plug this into a splitter and when it happens just like i explained in the other video it's gonna pull up your x and y because that's what it's pulling these splitters will you know they will give you um like it's basically splitting this up into two different things so the left and the right all right and the up and the down so left and right up and down and then if I took another splitter and say I connected it to this it would give me the pause up and down so like this would give me the positive and the negative so basically it would give me the up and down but it actually split them up into two different things it would give me the up and then the down all right uh, but we don't need that I was just again an, a little explanation all right so the way these values work is go into guides uh, or no not guides gadgets and then I can show you if you get a value slider and we connect this to this and then if we hit L1 square and then it's um, negative one all right so negative one to one so negative one again is your uh, it gives you a positive down one see it's just one and then same as negative up say like so all right so it's zero to one point zero point one or point zero to one and then all right so all right now we can delete that all right so the whole point of this is is first I want you to just create a variable right 
and we're gonna name it again you can name it what you want but I just named it uh, look up I should have probably named it a little yeah well whatever look up slash down all right yeah just leave that whatever um, all right and then I gave it a again a minimum value of negative one to one basically the same exact thing as the right stick what it gives you all right so the initial value is going to be a point one right so actually uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put a point one. I'll keep it there. Point one. All right. So what's happening is it's basically now. All right, get yourself a variable modifier, and then again, you can hit up on the D-pad, and it'll cycle through. Look up, down, get. All right. So now I can explain exactly what's happening here. So it's exact. It's this point one. It's timesing the point one to one. So if I had, if I put this at one, it'd be timesing. You don't want one to one basically, because if it was one to one, you, it would be instantaneous. Like you would just be like looking straight up or looking straight down. You don't want that. You want it to slowly do it. All right. I mean, it wouldn't. It would be gradually. Do, it would be actually like transitioning, but it would be doing it so fast it would almost look like it's just going uh, from zero to 100 basically all right so this all right so now what you're going to do is all right so we have this right this is what this is right times one times point one so it makes it slowing it down a little all right and then this is going to be where we actually put the um again i'm getting ahead of ourselves or ahead of myself we're going to get a timeline right and in this timeline, basically, we want, I do not know what I'm doing. Let's, I like to just keep my guides on. Um, uh, all right. So, all right, again, Jesus. I was doing good, now I'm getting all over the place. All right, we want a frame, right? So what we can do is, Oh, you want this to be 10, basically, again, 10 seconds long, all right? So what we're gonna do is, guides, uh, precise movement, and we're gonna slide this guy up 50, all right? Uh, actually, you know something? I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna just, if you just click on it uh, quickly, no, and just stop recording. Don't even you don't have to click on anything. Just take this, slide this over to the five. Uh, record, uh, copy this again. You don't really even need that frame, this frame here, but it's kind of easier, I guess, to just keep it there. All right, so again, we'll do this. This is our op. This is 50. Stop recording. Uh, L1X will make the like transition. You want to copy this right here. Run it all the way. Yeah. All right. So again. Transition L1X. You want to keyframe. So, what we want is we want to go down 50. All right. Again, this preference, whatever you want. Again, uh, tweak it all you want. All right. Stop recording. All right. So, or as you see, we want to be here we wanted to start here this is not where we wanted to start looking up that wouldn't really be um, that wouldn't be good and then you have to recenter every time and you know you don't want that so uh, why is all this all over the place I'm... all right oh, it's 
All right, so that's why we have this value slider. All right, the value slider is basically um, you're going to put these numbers in. You're going to have, again, 0 to 1. And then 0.5 will give you the middle here. All right. So again, it's like everything else. It's point. It's ten seconds, but it's point zero, point one, point zero zero to one. All right, and that's how a lot of all the values are with this. All right. So now, if you take this, and we plug this into this, right, and then we take this. Now, what we need to do is, if we plug this into here, this is the playhead it should all oh, right it... now when I take this because it's it should pop it right into the middle see so it popped it right in the middle um, it moves for some reason I don't know why it moves while we're not in play mode it has to do something to do with these damn value slider uh so all right all right so let's we can test that out now i believe whoa that's not good whoa it's going all over the place oh, I'm going crazy why is it doing that all right so we're good here good here we're plugged into here. I believe it's because is this not this should be tight, right? So weird. don't understand why you don't want to work hmm I really have to redo this again I guess I'm not going to fucking post this video I don't think because why is it doing that oh you know why I think I think I know why because of the timeline is all right see that little line there you need that to be there or it's basically trying to go back and start over see and, all right now that's another like now see it works really well all right um basically have the start of our camera we can't move forward or anything but um it's pretty good so far um and again you can make your uh few little things you can um uh you can make sure to go into these and make this unvisible both of these uh, here just make them invisible you want this one not movable but this one you do want a movable all right so um so what i was going to say is that uh see how we like messed up with this little thing and now you can see that it's it ends here with those little lines like sometimes it's good to mess things up it's you almost learn more learning from your mistakes and learning what doesn't work i mean that's why experimenting is great because if you think you're not getting anywhere i mean don't get frustrated because um if you the more things you learn that don't work that will just it's going to benefit you in the long run also because 
it'll just start clicking more like you'll know like, that's not gonna work that doesn't do that that doesn't do that and like you know I was always about like oh I don't want I'm getting all this stuff wrong but I'm really looking at it as like oh we got this wrong but like actually it's helping me learn to actually you know it's it's it's, it's also learning you know all right but anyways that's a little uh of my rambling but all right so the only last quick thing is the issue here is that because of that one-to-one -one thing where there's not really room to make any changes in this speed of this camera up and down because that's kind of fast you know and again one last thing is that because of this make sure if nothing's working make sure you have this as remote controllable all right so quickly i'll drag these over and i'm going to put this right here next to this another variable and again once we get the puppet and like i'll add these the variables to the puppet logic and all that stuff uh all right so what we'll do here is uh We want, uh, how did I set this up? So, oh yeah, so I had basically, so I wanted to delete this, right? So I wanted, to, so you enter this to this. This is gonna go to this, right? So what you have here is I put it at zero to 10 actually. Um, just to make it give it more room to so you can break it down to smaller increments and it'll make it so it's you can get more of a range of slower uh, up down movement so basically all you need to do is hook again I named it look look up slash down sensitivity and again get it same thing here Again, I'll show you this, numbers, and then just hook this up to this. So now, slightly slower. All right, a little more smoother. Um, again, and then all you had to do is you go in here, say you wanted it to be faster. Just go like that, and then you're faster. All right, say you wanted it to go slower, uh, go back down where we were at. We were at six, so let's go down to two. Let's see what that does. And it's really slow. All right, and that's basically gives you a little more flexibility. Um, again, these aren't best practices. This I really just kind of you know picking up little things here and there and trying my own stuff. Hopefully this you know is helpful um and it's you know it's really just so you know take these little tips and hopefully they work and um and i'm also just trying to keep it as simplified as possible um at first you know i think some of these tutorials are you know they're great but a little more advanced for my knowledge, especially that I'm someone that takes a little longer to understand logic and stuff like that. And maybe I just don't have that type of brain that like, and I love the logic stuff, but my brain maybe just isn't one that like can wrap around the understanding of it that quick. But you know, I'm getting there and uh, hopefully you guys are too. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. And just, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if these, you know, you're able to follow along. Uh, I'm sure my, uh, you know, my stuttering and uh, ums a lot aren't probably the, the best, but you know, hopefully, you know, you're still understanding for the very few people that are actually probably even watching. <laughs> Anyways, peace out guys. I will see you in the next one and I believe yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do next, but we'll definitely be building upon this. And I am out. Peace.